Hello everyone. Recently we reached 500 subscribers. Thank you very much. It has been great to make these videos and we hope to continue doing them for as long as possible. Anyways. Cicada 3301 is a very well known internet mystery. In this video series, we will be covering the entirety of the puzzles, year by year. Keep in mind that we will not be speculating in these videos, only in the final one where there may be some speculation, but not much. Without further ado, let's begin explaining the year 2012 for Cicada 3301. It all started on January 5th. 2012. Users browsing slash x slash discovered a post that had a mysterious image. It said. Hello. We are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There is a message hidden in this image. Find it and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few who will make it all the way through. Good luck. 3301. At that time, the post was noticed by most people that were browsing slash x slash and theories started to appear. Many people thought that it was an ARG or an NSA recruitment program. Those theories are still possible to this day as the rabbit hole has not been uncovered yet. Solvers were quick to try many different methods of finding the hidden message in the image. The message was found when they opened the image in a text editing application, like Notepad++. This allowed users to read a dump of all the bytes in an image. This produced the text on screen, which was discovered to be a Caesar cipher, due to the reference. The deciphered text was a URL, which led to the image file on screen. Upon discovering this image, solvers were initially stumped as they thought the image was an actual decoy. Fortunately, solvers realized that they had to use a program called OutGuess, hence the words guess and out. Outguess is a steganography program designed to hide messages within images. When solvers ran the image through Outguess, they found the following message. Here is a book code. To find the book, and more information, go to, and then a link to a subreddit. After that there are various numbers, and the famous good luck message, from 3301. The subreddit contained many different text posts and two images, each named Welcome, and Problems. They both contained an outguess message. The one from Welcome was this. From here on out, we will cryptographically sign all messages with this key. It is available on the MIT keys of Earth. Key ID 7A35090F, as posted in a 2E7J6IC78H0J. Patience is a virtue. Good luck. 3301. The message inside the problem's image was this. The key has always been right in front of your eyes. This isn't the quest for the Holy Grail. Stop making it more difficult than it is. Good luck. 3301. Followed by another PGP signature. PGP signatures are a completely secure method of ensuring that a message has come from the confirmed sender. Cicada's PGP key is stored securely in the MIT keys of ER. In the header of the subreddit, there was a string given which contained many numbers. This was the key that the problem's text mentioned, being the code to shift the ciphers in the subreddit. Basically this was the key to the Caesar ciphered text in the subreddit. This produced a story, that is on screen right now. The story from the subreddit is not complete, however. After running the book code from the original outguess of the duck image to the recovered story from the subreddit, we get the following. Call us at us telephone number 214390968. This was obviously a telephone number. It has since been deactivated, but calling it initially gave the following message. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final dot JPEG image. 3301 is one of them. You will have to find the other two. 
Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. Goodbye. So now solvers had to find two new prime numbers that were associated with the original image. This clue did not take very long to be solved. The two numbers were the width and height of the original image, both 509 and 503 respectively. When adding the product of these two numbers with 3301 to a URL, we get the first Cicada website. It originally led to an image of a Cicada and a countdown. Using outguess on the image produced the following message. You have done well to come this far. Patience is a virtue. Check back at 1700 hours on Monday, January 9, 2012 UTC. 3301. After a lot of waiting, the website finally changed. Reapplying out guess on the Cicada image produced a new message, containing coordinates, as well as two which were written on the website itself. These returned locations across the globe, meaning that unless you had access to all these locations, you'd be forced to collaborate with other users. At each of these locations, solvers found a sheet of paper stuck to a telegraph pole, with a QR code and an image of a cicada. Upon scanning the QR codes, two different messages were revealed. These are In 29 volumes, knowledge was once contained. How many lines of the code remained when the Mabinagian paused? Go that far in from the beginning and find my first name. Followed by more book codes, and You've shared too much to this point. We want the best not the followers. Thus, the first few there will receive the prize. Good luck. 3301. The second image contained the following. A poem of fading death, named for a king. Meant to be read only once and vanish. Alas, it could not remain unseen. Followed by more book codes, and the same ending as the last message. At this point most solvers knew to use the book codes with the description of each book. They also included a warning about too much collaboration, saying that only the first few would receive entry. The second code was found to have led to the poem Agrippa by typing in keywords from the description. This poem, found here, spat out an onion address after the book code was applied. By entering this page into a Tor-equipped browser, users found the following message. Congratulations. Please create a new email address with a public, free web-based service. Once you've never used before, and enter it below. We recommend you do this while still using Tor, for anonymity. We will email you a number within the next few days, in the order in which you arrived at this page. Once you've received it, come back to this page and append a slash and then the number you received to this URL. 3301. After this, there is a split between solvers who got to the page first and received the email, and solvers who didn't get there. For those solvers, there was a second chance to receive the email called numbers.tk. Not much is known about this and there is no documentation about these steps, but they did exist. Anyways, those who applied early enough or followed the numbers.tk hint were greeted with the email on screen. It had a key that users had to crack. Once done, the solvers received another email with a MIDI puzzle. After this, nobody knows what really happened. The original puzzle was not very well documented in its end stages. Hopefully this will one day come to light, but after receiving this email, every person that did so went completely dark, as if they had disappeared from the internet. After a whole month without any word from 3301, the following message was posted in the subreddit. Hello. We have now found the individuals we sought. Thus our month-long journey ends. For now. Thank you for your dedication and effort. If you were unable to complete the test, or did not receive an email, do not despair. There will be more opportunities like this one. Thank you all. 3301. This was the final message received from Cicada in 2012 that was confirmed to be them. 
mentions of 3301 popped up throughout the rest of the year, and by December everyone had forgotten about it. Until 2013. That is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. We will be covering the 2013 puzzle soon so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon once again.